Good evening. This is the video newsletter for BuySellShort.com for Tuesday, July 29th. Uh, market got back all of yesterday's sell-off today. Just uh, unbelievable, this market. Yesterday, they hated the financials, tanked everything. Today, they love the financials, and everything spikes. Granted, 90% of stocks saw no movement today. It was just a handful of stocks pushing everything higher. Really frustrating when they actually push the market up in these 200 point plus ranges because there's no movement. Stuff just goes up and then dies and then hangs for the day. Should see some pullbacks tomorrow. If we look at the Dow 15 minute chart, we're bumping up against resistance at the 200 day moving average in the 15 minute time frame. RSI is up near the top and stochastics also up in overbought territory. So, you know, a pullback, 100 point pullback to the 11,250 area would set us up for another advance. If we actually look at the daily chart, daily chart is looking really good here. As I mentioned on Sunday, we are possibly putting in a bottom around this area. We have now flipped into a bearish rising wedge, but target, as I mentioned before, I think this leg, the second leg of this rally takes us to the 50 day moving average, and that's at the 11,800 plus area. RSI is trying the 50 level again. One thing I do like, uh, stochastics, we had a retra retrace over the last couple of days, and then boom, we held the 50 point and bounced. Love seeing this on stocks and on indices. And one other thing to note here, this is the on-bounce volume, and on, on that large sell-off we had yesterday, barely an impact on on-bounce volume, and, and that is a bullish sign, at least for the near term. SMH. As I mentioned, we are looking at a possible bottom here. Granted, who would have known yesterday we would have that sell-off, but we gained it all back today. And this chart is starting to shape up like a bottom. Again, target is the 50 and 200 day moving average area. That is at 30.50. Breakout is the 20 day exponential 28.62. RSI coming out of the basement. Same with stochastics. So with oil breaking down yet again, we should finally start to see money flowing into the tech stocks and in the tech sector we need the semiconductors to wake up stock place serious merger approved and the stock tanked uh, they issued 375 million dollars worth of stock at a dollar 50 but that stock does not hit the open market it is done to hedge the debt offering done to retire xm's debt so a lot of moving around the shares don't really hit the float and but everyone's throwing in the towel case in point kramer kramer for the last year plus has been harping on buy serious approve the merger approve the merger merger approved yesterday so what is he doing after hours oh my god sell serious i hate serious bottom if i ever saw one like every other play we've done on serious Target is a snapback to the 20-day exponential. Stock always makes its back way back to that level. Right now, the 20-day is at 214. I'm eyeing a target of 180 to two dollars over the next two to three weeks. So, small nibble entry at a buck sixty. And if there is further downside, leave ourselves the option to be able to average down with the same target in mind. So first nibble position on Sirius today. ONT, this is a play on the Olympics. Olympics are next week. ONT, garbage stock, but uh, sold off recently and they, per their news last week, are have partnered with the major Chinese television cable company to broadcast the Olympics on the internet. So if this stock is going to go and we're going to get China momentum, it should go in the next couple of days. Target is a snapback to the 50-day moving average. That's at 69. Downtrend line is 65 cents to 69. So that is our target on this one with 48 cent stops. One week play on the Olympics. China, same thing. Upped guidance today. Didn't get much of a pop. Got painted at the close. But uh, we should see at least a test of the 50-day moving average by next week on this one. It's been holding the 50 on its RSI. We're about to get a po – well, actually, we did. We got a positive ADX cross today. And Stochastics doing that thing I like, halting at the 50 level and getting ready to bounce back. And on-balance volume looks pretty good here as well. 
XOMA, nice big run over the last week, gave it back over the last couple of days and found nice support today on a buy recommendation at its 50 day moving average. This one should make its way back to the 220 plus area this week. RSI bouncing off the 50 level showing strength. RSI, we're still above 50 here as well. So one, if you're not in right now, would look in the 195 to two area to pick up a scalp position on this one. Circuit City, inverted head and shoulder formation here. Uh, side note on Circuit City, got bashed yesterday. The reason Bank of America analysts came out and said that uh, he heard whispers on the wind that vendors were pulling their credit. Company came out and said, BS, we actually have been negotiating with our vendors and getting better credit terms than we had before. So yet again, Wall Street twisting what they hear to suit themselves. Don't believe a damn thing any analyst says. And uh, looking for a snapback to the 250 area on this one if this rally continues like I think it will. Stops, um, today's lows if you're going to put stops in. Today's lows, 204. Our, our stochastic should hold 50 like the other two charts I showed, and we should see a nice snap back up on this one. The other inverted head and shoulders play here is also Dollar Thrifty Auto Group. RSI is about to break up over 50. Stochastics is holding above the 50 level, and this one, the next move up should be big and fast on this retreat in oil. Last stock I'm going to mention today is our old favorite ELN. They posted their Alzheimer's drug data in after hours, and the market did not like it. Right now, I'm looking at Elon trading at uh, 2640, down 550, actually down 10 bucks from the spike in after hours. Broke its uptrend line that dated back to the March lows. We're going to get a nice entry in this one again. Yeehaw! Uh, I would be looking for this stock. You know, if it gets down 25 and below, might be time to pick up another scalp position on this one. Market did not like the results. Uh, Wyatt is actually down huge in after hours. Wyatt's had $10 billion chopped off its market cap on this, or $6 billion, I'm sorry, in after hours. Elon's only down $2 billion. So if, uh, I don't think I've ever seen Elon fall less than its partner on the same drug whenever bad news has come out. So let us see. But uh, it's going to be very volatile tomorrow. So if you're looking for a stock to get some scalp trades on, it's going to be Elon. And uh, might actually pull off a couple of trades on this one tomorrow as well. So be ready in the chat room. As for the news, uh, really negative spin on it. But it was nothing that was not known uh, when the stock ran from 27 last month. Uh, same news, just more details. The damn drug works. It works on part of the population, maybe. But it works on some people, so that's a hell of a lot better than any other drug that's on the market right now. So let them beat the crap out of the stock so we can swoop in and get some cheap shares for the next run-up. That's it for the video tonight. I'll see you guys in the chat room tomorrow. Good night.